to, to come and speak today and to be able to tell you about the project and work that we're doing currently across Glasgow. Um, Salma's story is a prime example of please, if you've got symptoms, get them checked out, detect cancer early. The quicker we can detect cancer, the better the chances are of having a long life and managing that condition in a positive way. Um, I'm proud to say that I work for Macmillan Cancer in Glasgow Libraries as a service delivery manager. Um, this is a unique project for the first time in Glasgow that Macmillan Cancer Support has actually funded an entire city to be supported in dealing with cancer and for people that are affected by cancer. And I say people by affected by cancer because just as Selma's story has inspired others, if you're diagnosed, if anybody's diagnosed, it's not just about that individual, it's about everybody that's connected to that individual, it's about the family, the friends, the siblings, the parents, everybody's affected by cancer. And as my colleague previously said from Cancer Research UK, one in three people are affected by cancer. That is a phenomenal number and it's only going to increase. And yes, that sounds depressing, but also it's a good thing because we can manage it better. We're getting better at diagnosing, we have better screening programmes in place, and with the work that Cancer Research in UK, um, a colleague here has just presented to us, we are finding solutions. The different thing about the project that we are doing in Glasgow Libraries is that we're now trying to provide information around cancer information support in your local area. On diagnosis, it's very difficult to actually come to terms with what it is that you're going through. And quite often in an acute setting, in a hospital environment, you're thinking about 101 things, but you're not thinking about the answers and the questions that you really want to ask. And it's when you get home, you think, oh, I wish I'd ask that question, or I wish I could speak to somebody about this. The nurses are fantastic, but I don't have, they don't have the time to sit and talk to me for an hour. Well, through the Glasgow Libraries project, what we've done, and we piloted this out in Easter House and it was very, very successful, is we're creating local environments for you to be able to come into your local library, grab a cup of tea or coffee, sit down and just talk to somebody about what you're going through, <coughs> what your concerns are, and about what it is that we can do to support you. Through our projects, what we can then do is signpost you to the appropriate services that you're looking for. We are in a fortunate position that we work very closely with Cancer Support Scotland, used to be known as TAC10. We also work with our colleagues at the NHS and we work with Glasgow City Council. So we can refer you to places like the Macmillan um, Benefits Advice, for example, because one of the things that you don't think about when you think about medical issues is the financial impact that it has on you, and believe me, it, has, it does have on everyone. So we can kind of signpost you and bring you that support in your local library. Um, much more services. With Cancer Support Scotland we're able to provide you counselling services and again this is for anybody affected by cancer. We also provide um, complementary therapies. Very stressful when you go through medical issues if you can get time out. Complementary therapies that can be um, delivered in some places in your local library, in some places at the Calvin Centre which is not far from the beats in itself within the Cartnavel site. Um, we also have access to the Macmillan Helpline. What we don't do in the service is give you medical information. We don't tell you what treatment you should be doing. We don't tell you what your outcome is going to be. But if you have a medical question, we can certainly um, get you in contact with the Macmillan Helpline, which is supported by clinical cancer specialists. And again, if you've got a clinical question, you're not quite sure about it, this advice at the end of the line. And that helpline is open to 8 o'clock at night. Most people think libraries, why would I go to a library to get a support service? You go there to get a book and you don't make any noise. Well, as we've all changed, so does the cultural, cultural space of libraries change. And libraries are becoming more a kind of a community hub. It's becoming a space where you go and find out information. So it's not just about what book can I get, it's about what's going on in my local area. Another new and exciting development that we've created within Glasgow Libraries is we're now delivering a program called Qigong. And the lead volunteer just happens to be here, Alan, if you want to have any questions. Qigong, which he will be able to tell you much better than I will, is a breathing and movement technique which actually combats the side effect of fatigue for a lot of people that are going through cancer. But again, the, the programme is open to anybody affected by cancer. As a manager, I have obviously got to go to a taster session. And I do believe that if you're going to recommend something, try it out. And I would recommend this highly because it does give you more energy 
you don't realise the impact of the ox oxygen can make in your body when you breathe properly for the first time. I know you think you can do it because you're born breathing, but it's, it's a lot more complicated. Um, these are all the services that we um, deliver through our services within the Glasgow Libraries. We're committed to having cancer information support in 32 libraries across Glasgow over the next two years. This, as I say, is a unique um, program because it's never been done before to this scale. And that's mainly because of the prevalence of cancer within Glasgow and the west of Scotland. Um, at the moment, we have five libraries currently open, and that's the Mitchell Pollock Library, Langside Library, Denston Library, and Easter House Library, the Bridge. We're opening up next week in, in sorry, next month in Hill Heads Library, which is a local library to yourself as well as the um, And we're also opening in Springburn. By March next year, we'll also have another five libraries on board. So there is a central number, and if you've got any questions about council, that you can contact. Um, and they'll be able to tell you which is the most local library to yourself as we roll out this program. Um, I would recommend that you come in if you have any questions about cancer. Please feel free to drop by. If you're looking for any information, stop along at the store and you know, come and have a chat with us. Well, I say that we, as a service delivery manager, my job is to set up and establish the projects. But within the projects themselves, they're actually run by volunteers. We have a commitment to recruit 300 volunteers over three years. We started in April, we've already had 100 volunteers, which is a phenomenal number to have. Um, the commitment from the volunteers that we have has been phenomenal in the response we've had. And the volunteers that have come to us have been varied. We have younger people, older people, males, females, and some of them, the majority of them, have been touched by cancer in some way or another. What we don't have at the moment, although we do have a language bank, we have people that speak. Chinese, Polish, a number of languages. But unfortunately, I can't report back that we have anybody apart from ourselves. This speaks Punjabi and Urdu. So if you are interested in volunteering and would like to give some time to your local library, please get in touch. I do have some leaflets here on the stand. I'd be happy to chat to you about it. Um, it's, it's amazing that Glasgow's been given the opportunity to try and do this across the city. And Mill and I are committed to saying that if this is a success and we're trying this out for three years, that we will be rolling out similar programs across the UK potentially. So it's bringing the issues to you, it's allowing you to access information in your local area. And for you to come and tell us, tell us what you need so that we can shape our services to suit the needs of people affected by cancer and also to help you find support people. Okay. Thank you very much.